Hello, folks, and welcome right here to the Raising Canes in Byram, Mississippi. This is the South 78 Football Show 2024 edition. This is our first episode of preseason edition of this show. I'm right here with Coach Chris Thickpin of the Terry Bulldogs. And, Coach, you're entering your fifth season here at Terry High School. And uh, last year you did, uh, you did the big goal, which was made the playoffs for the first time mm -hmm. since 2000. And six, and not only did we get there, we won uh, the first round on the road against George County with their four-star quarterback and all 41-39 in that ball game. Ended up falling but to the undefeated 6A state champion, uh, West Jones Mustangs. Now you're coming into a new season, and you know the expectations just get that much higher after success such as that first season. How are you guys building on that first season, uh, that, that uh, last season success? Well, I've been uh, really p pleased with the uh, players uh, and the coaches uh, so far. You know, uh, we've still been working like we're in search of that first opportunity again. So we haven't been content. Um, guys has been really, really hungry. Um, and that's where you want to be in your program. You know, you, you want it to almost start to run itself. You know, we don't have to call guys and find out where they are when it's time to work out. So we don't have guys ducking and dodging. Instead of running from the work, they're running to the work. And that's that's where we wanted to be in. So um, we feel good about our process that we have in place. And we're just trying to make small uh, adjustments to that uh, where needed. And so uh, this off season or this developmental season has been uh, really, really good. And so we're excited as – you can kind of tell from just being around us. So you nearly had a complete uh, staff overhaul from last year in terms of your coaching staff. Um, I mean, for instance, Coach Crosby, who's uh, your defensive coordinator, and he left uh, for a great opportunity mm -hmm. as head coach there at Newton County High School. So, And those kind of things just show your success of your program when guys leave to become head coaches, of course. But you still had to overhaul your staff. Uh, just talk about the process of vetting these candidates and, uh, and incorporating them into your staff? Well, you know, first and for foremost, you always want to find men of great integrity because they're going to be around Absolutely. the players uh, so much. And, you know, and I always want to hire a guy that I would feel comfortable about my son playing for because, you know, if I don't feel comfortable about my son playing for him, then I'm not going to feel comfortable bringing them in uh, our program or recommending them for hire in our program. And so, uh, the t two of the most, uh, the main things I try to uh, look at and make sure we have in a candidate is uh, loyalty and commitment. Like, will you be committed to the work? Will you be committed to the process? Are you going to be committed to the grind? Because it's go time now. And a lot of, for a lot of us, you know, once the season starts, it's, it's six and seven days a week. And um, that's no different from any other program that's contending. And we want to be a contender. And so, uh, but you, you always want to find guys that are going to be loyal and uh, committed to, to what it takes to get to that championship level. And I think we've, we've added some guys. We, you know, uh, one of my mentors, Coach uh, Ryan Ernest, at uh, Laurel High School always said, the more success we have as a team, you're subject to lose, you know, your great assistance because you're only good as your assistant coaching staff. And so um, – our staff that we we put together now, after you know we ha had some addition, uh, some guys move on, have been really, really good. Um, the relationships that they building with the players is a very positive one, um, and they're working hard. And so I'm excited, and that's where I c I come in at you know being the head coach, <clears throat> and and helping them adjust to this level. So um, and and you'll you'll talk to one um, in a few minutes who's who I think is an up-and-coming star in the game, a very bright guy, smart guy, knows football. He's very relatable, and that's what you kind of look for in a candidate. Yeah, so would have been uh, – um, you've gone through uh, spring training as well as uh, some camps here in the summer. Uh, just talk about what your takeaways have been from your team through the spring and the summer and, and what players have impressed you. Well, you know, I – we kind of got a little shock to our system going to play a really good start with team in the spring, but I told our guys I wanted to find out where we are, what we need to improve on, and I, I think we've made tremendous strides 
stride since uh, my spring game at Startville uh, High School. Um, we, we have a, a lot of guys coming back on defense. Um, offensively, you know, we're, we're going to look for some new playmakers to emerge. Um, we're breaking in a new quarterback that we feel really, really good about uh, in Brady Busby, who's been in our program, who had a great freshman year. Um, he's smart. He can throw it. He can kick it. Um, you know, you could do a lot of things with him offensively because he's he's such a smart guy back there. Uh, he's very accurate. Maybe the best throw of the football I've had um, in a young quarterback since I've been at Terry. So, of course, we're really, really excited. And then on offense, we return um, uh, two really good running backs in Runday Baker and Jordan McGee. Um, on the outside, we got Braden Gibson coming back. We have another guy I think no one knows about at receiver and so um yeah some of those other guys left like will johnson and rj hall but man i'm super excited to see uh, some of these other guys step up and emerge as playmakers on offense and that is what i was just about to ask you i mean last year you had you had some serious playmakers on that team from last year on both sides of the ball offense and defense one of the things you guys uh, were known for last year was just being able to turn the game around with a pick six, with a kickoff return, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with a, you know, all kinds of things like that. And uh, so, just how are you going to replace those uh, kind of players? Is it really just these guys that are come, moving up in age? They're going to come in and surprise people that, they, that people don't know about. I think you'll have a little bit of both. Um, I think you know, instead of being high, I think we'll be more a high-performing, high-efficient offense. But, of course, with any offense, I don't care if it's the spread, if you're running the wing tee or the power out of the flex bone, you want to have explosive plays within your offense. And so that's the thing, you know, we, we try to focus on is having explosive plays, um, you know, within the offense because the name of the game in high school is to score points. And every year since I've been head coach, we've increased – the number of points, overall points that we scored year after year. And so, yes, you want to play good defense. You want to get stops. You want to get turnovers. Um, and uh, But you got to score points. And so, um, you know, that's that's been an emphasis on – that's an emphasis on every, you know, offensive meeting we have is we got to find a way to score points and uh, do that against really good teams. Yes, yeah, so Coach, every great team uh, has exceptional ha – needs exceptional leadership, and that's not just limited to coaches. also um, applies to players on the field as well. Uh, have you uh, had guys who have emerged um, that take on that leadership role on the field uh, for your team this upcoming year? Yes. Uh, you know, Jordan McGee is a guy that when he speaks, everybody listens. Uh, so he's very, very vital to – uh, our team when it comes to a leadership standpoint. He's vocal. He's a good player. Uh, he's been in our program for almost uh, four years, three solid seasons. So he's he's been uh, through the storm and the rain. Then you have other guys like Caleb Tillman, who, who's the same thing, the very hard working, a guy that's still very hungry about what he wants to accomplish in high school and how he wants to be remembered. You have Jadarius Young, defensive lineman, has been in our program since his freshman year. So we have these guys coming up. You have Ryan Huddleston, who's, who's a quiet guy, but he's solid as a rock uh, offensive lineman. You have guys like, you know, Elijah Sanders. You have guys like uh, Glendarius Ford. So you have guys throughout that senior class that bring different things to the table and different things to the team. And, you know, it, it was kind of amazing at camp to see, you know, say, okay, guys, we're leaving at this time. And, guys are there or guys are calling each other knocking on doors and you know they're starting to take that initiative and be proactive in how we go about things and so that's very very encouraging yeah and so with the expectations and buzz around this uh, program heightening uh just from the success from last year and now you're getting closer uh, to the season uh tomorrow will be august and uh, we're three weeks that's away right. from the uh the uh, we're four weeks away from the first game of the season where do you see this team being uh, by that end of the season, right there at the end of October, early November? Well, the end of October, okay, so last year two very important region games were on the road in West Jones and Hattiesburg. Well, this year we get both those teams at home. We get Clinton at home. So if we just win our home games, 
will win the region and will host a home playoff football game, which is something that I think is very, very important to me and yep. what I want to accomplish as head coach. And then once you get in the playoffs, anything can happen. Yeah. I, You know, if, if I could – want anything for this team is for these guys to just stay healthy and I think that's something that kind of helped us last year we didn't have any major injuries uh, throughout the season we had some guys get banged up Did. but we, we had I don't think we had any season ending injuries we had one guy go down that would have been a starter but we had some younger guys step up and so you always want especially on the high school level to make sure you can stay healthy and so um, even how we practice, even how we lift weights and how much we bang during the week, all of that stuff has been evaluated, you know, and I ask guys, hey, how do you do this or how do you do that? Because we want our guys fresh on Friday. So when we go out Friday, they can be at their best and perform at their best level. And so, um, yes, those games, uh, late October, early November are very, very important. We have a really strong region and we're not taking any of those opponents for granted, but we want to have a chance to play for a trip to the state championship. And if we plan during Thanksgiving weekend, we'll have opportunity to do that. Absolutely. And Coach, we appreciate you joining us. Of course, this is the South 78 football show. we got more coming up. Hello, folks. Here we are at the Raising Canes. I'm Trellis Williams. Right here with me, Harry Horton, the chief, Chief Horton, here in Byram, the fire chief. And, uh, sir, I definitely am glad you're joining us here today. This is the South 78 uh, football show and uh, you guys brought in the uh, fire truck today uh, for the team to take a picture in front of it uh, for this upcoming season and um, just kind of talk about uh, just the community aspect of uh, what y'all do uh, you came and supported uh, supported the uh, athletes here today just kind of talk about what you guys do okay uh, generally. sure yeah I'm, I'm currently the interim fire chief and uh, the, the mayor and the board has until the end of August to make a decision to vote me in as permanent fire chief and I feel pretty good that, you know, there's a good chance of that happening. And um, I believe it's very important the fire department should interact with the community and the citizens get to meet the firemen and see them face-to-face. And what it does, it builds up a trust level. So when our guys are called out and running these emergency calls, you know, they recognize that person. And, uh, hey, I've seen him before. It kind of comforts that person, you know, by, you know, just inter- a simple interaction with, you know, the, with the public. It really builds up that trust level, and I believe that uh, public relations, you know, with the fire department and police department is just tremendous, and it makes a difference. And jumping on what you just said about uh, just having the trust of the citizens, kind of what are are you guys looking for in terms of having these – citizens how they feel towards you guys because I know that uh, built just built a, a fire station over there on Hines yes. on the Hines County Parkway and things like that so just kind of talk about this development that you have going on okay yes yeah, so we just recently opened uh, fire station number two it's on the new Hines Parkway it's a mile and a half uh, behind Kroger so that's going to be west of Kroger headed towards Clinton uh, we had to have that fire station because the city's growing and we're required to have you know so many stations per you know the size of the city and uh, we're excited about that we're able to you know pretty much provide fire protection to that side of town that they haven't had before and you know it's really going to cut our response times down if there is a true emergency in that area and uh, we're very excited about that and um, just trying to you know make the city a better place by providing uh, better services to the community you know yeah, so right now you're the interim uh, fire chief here in Byram, um, hoping to be the uh, fire chief. Uh, just kind of talk about uh, your career up to this point and what led you into this position. Okay, yeah, so I started out as a volunteer firefighter back in the mid-90s. Uh, back in 1996, I was still in high school and fell in love with it and decided to uh, you know, choose a career path in the fire service and did uh, 15 years at Clinton and left Clinton, and I've been here for, you know, right at seven years. So uh, I've got uh, 22, 23 years in total, you know, with the, between in my whole uh, career, you know, fire service, uh, seven, seven years here at Byron. Okay, and then my last question is, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, people like you, first responders, people like you, um, you know, always uh, looked at with respect and just uh, uh, just an honorable thing to do. Just kind of talk about, um, you know, 
the, your willingness and uh, your fellow um, firemen's uh, willingness to uh, put your lives on the line uh, for your fellow citizens. Yeah, okay. It's um, Being in the fire service is a calling. You know, you don't do it for the money. You do it yeah. for, you know, helping the community and trying to make a difference in this crazy world we live in. And, uh, you know, it's not for everybody. You know, it's, it's uh, you're going to find out if this is meant for you uh, pretty quick, you know, and um, – it's just rewarding. You're not able to save every home or you're not able to save every life. But the one life you do save or the one home you do save from a fire, it makes a difference. And that's the reward, you know, you get to go home with. Um, it, I wouldn't choose anything else. And I still feel the same way about this career as I did when I first started. So um, it's something, you know, once you're in love with it, you know, and, and you love doing what you do, it's hard to let go of it. That's great, and thank you uh, for joining us. Okay, right thank here. you for having me. Absolutely. All right, folks, and welcome back to the Raising Canes in Byron, Mississippi. Right here with me is Coach Antonio Benson, defensive coordinator, incoming defensive coordinator for this Terry Bulldogs football team. Coach, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Uh, Glad to be here. Yep, absolutely. My first question for you is you're entering your first year at Terry. You have experience, uh, plenty of experience at Natchez, Hazelhurst, and then your last stop was Crystal Springs. How have your experiences, how do you feel that your experiences have prepared you for this position? Um, well, so most of the teams that we are going to be playing this year, I played my first year as a defensive coordinator in Natchez, so I won't be unfamiliar. Yep. Um, my stop in Hazelhurst, where I did most of my growing it, um, with my philosophy as defense, um, it's going to help me a lot as in preparing for this upcoming season. For sure. How, so, what have you noticed about this Bulldogs team through your time of coaching the spring and then uh, the camps here in the summer? Uh, how, how have you seen this defense? Um, resilient. Um, last year they did have a great staff and um, a lot of players returning, aggressive, physical. They've been there before, um, so they do have a lot of experience on their side. Um, coachable, reliable, and dependable. So with the defense being aggressive, fast, we can, we can do some work with it. Yeah, and so you're inheriting a defense that has had success the past few years. Uh, coach Crosby was the defensive coordinator, now the head coach there mm -hmm. at Newton uh, County High School. Uh, now you're coming in right here. So, um, so and now some of the talent from last year has left, mm -hmm. uh, but you do have a lot of talented guys still mm -hmm. as well. How do you keep that going with this defense? Um, what we have to do is we can't erase everything that they did uh, last year. So I didn't want to come in and re reinvent the wheel. So what I did was I kind of mixed in some things that they were familiar with, and it was easier for me to change than the entire defense to change. So what I did, I changed some of the verbiage, and I, but I also left some the same so we could still play fast as they were known for last year. So how would you describe your kind of defense? What are the characteristics of a Coach Benson defense? Um, we're going to be alignment, assignment, aggression, and we're going to be physical. Um, we can't do anything without being aligned correctly. We are going to be aggressive, and we're going to be physical and fast to the football. Coach, we appreciate you joining us. Looking forward to seeing your defense out there for this upcoming season. All right, same here. Thank you, sir. All right, folks, we are back right here with me. Coach Coleman now in administration here at Terry High School. Um, of course, before he was uh, one of the football coaches here at the at the school. And so, Coach, I do want to ask you your first question. How has your uh, transition from being a coach as well as administrator to being full-time in administration at Terry High School, how was that transition for you? Okay, so um, last year was my uh, first full year not, not coaching football uh, and making that transformation. It, 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 it was kind of – it wasn't seamless, but it, I knew the program was in such great hands. To I, it, it didn't bother me about making that transition to full-time admin uh, as being admin support. Um, so especially, like, when you have a head coach like we have that keeps you kind of abrupt on how the program going and – and, and just keeps it, and just keeps that line of communication so open with you. To it, it seems like you never left. The only thing that changed for me was instead of being on the field on Fridays, I was on the sideline, uh, cheering on the kids like I always do. Uh, so you know, as far as a, pretty much in the transition of it all, it, it was it was almost seamless. Yeah, so last year the team had a lot of success there in the end, uh, being able to win that playoff game right, at right. George County, which was a big one. It was. Uh, and also, you know, played West Jones pretty well, a team that they ended did. up being undefeated in the 6A state champions. Um, 
now you're coming into a new season and, you know, the expectations are higher now yeah. that you make a playoff. Um, just kind of talk about the buzz around this program. Well, Coach, let me tell you, it's, it's a lot that goes into the program that people don't see. They, they'll never understand unless they're, like, inside the walls of that program. Uh, so many kids that came before uh, this last year class, man, that kind of set foundations, kind of helped us set standards and, and kind of gave us the momentum to get to what we got to last year. Last year was a special year uh, since I've been at Terry, uh, since Anthony Dixon's years, that we actually had that type of success as far as uh, – winning that many games and then making a playoff run like we did, uh, eventually, you know, getting put out by uh, the eventual state champions. Um, so the buzz is very, very high. It's very, very positive. Uh, it leaves the community of Terry and Byron wanting for more. Uh, so it, it kind of it, – it's not a lot of pressure uh, on this year group to kind of, you know, uh, what Post will kind of say, uh, pick up where we left off at. But kind of make your own staple, you know, kind of make your own memory, kind of make your own plateau of where you want to, where your senior year or this year's program to either go to and kind of exceed last year's uh, expectations or whatever. So, man, I'm very excited. Uh, I know as far as school administration and then our uh, county office, as our superintendents, we're very excited about uh, things to come here, Terry, uh, some things we kind of put in place to kind of help with that transition, man, has now starting to kind of play a role in the success that we're having. And it's just open communication between coaches and admin to make sure that we're giving our kids, man, the best plateau and the best platform to, man, you know, to take it to the next level. So, yeah, that's, that we're very excited, man. Uh, they can kick it off right now, man. I think we're ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so talk about some of the other things that are going on at the school right now. Um, you know, a lot of excitement about football season. But, oh, just, yeah. uh, but you, you know, you got the school year starting and everything. So everything's rolling back into form. So just kind of talk about some of the other things that are going on around. Okay. The school. Um, so uh, tomorrow is our first uh, back to school for the uh, for our, uh, teachers and uh, staff. So we'll be meeting with them at 8 o'clock and uh, – kind of laying out our platform for what we want to accomplish uh, this year. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work, uh, kind of hinging on what we did last year, what went real, what didn't go well, what we're going to put in place to make sure that all our kids are successful, not just our athletes, but our whole school. Uh, man, just taking that next step, man, and, and being an A school district and an A school, and, uh, you know, we, we got a mantra this year, uh, whatever it takes, and that's – all around, not just athletics, but the whole school, whatever it takes to get us to that next level, man, of excellency, that's what we're going to do. Uh, it's going to, you know, got to roll up your sleeves. I'm talking about not just from a, a admin standpoint, but from a staff standpoint. I mean, we want excellence in everything. Uh, got a new gym coming. Uh, we kind of really excited about that, man, because they had so much success this year and in years past, and it's kind of kind of outgrown our space. Because of the success, people want to come when you're winning. So, yep. I'm real excited about that. Uh, man, look, uh, have some, uh, some some additions that kids are going to like yep. uh, as far as uh, some renovations that we made to some current spots in our, in our building to kind of bring more school spirit and pride into the program and then to the school system. And it's going to help our culture. And then when you know you, you got to help the culture, man, you have to help the school. So, that's, that's what we got going. Uh, got to meet the teachers on August the 5th. Uh, look forward to seeing teachers come, uh, where parents come out and get their schedule for the kids, get their devices for the kids. So when they come back August 6th, man, we can hit the ground running. And we ain't got to be, uh, you know, doing a lot of leg work, trying to hand out stuff and all that, man. When you come off that bus, man, we're going to get to it. And then with, uh, with that ever, uh, whatever it takes, uh, Montreux. So that's what we're ready. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. Uh, hey, man, always, us. man. Appreciate you, man. Look at me. Tune in. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the South 78 Football Show. I am Trellis Williams. Joining me now is Coach Elton James of the baseball team at Terry High School. And, uh, Coach, uh, my first question for you is uh, you, you told me that you had uh, some summer league stuff going on yeah, we, with your team this past summer. Uh, just kind of talk about the goals uh, for your team this upcoming year. Well, we, uh, we had a summer league all of June. Our goals this year is just to go out and compete. Um, I don't know the record from last year, and that, that's the past. But we're here to work. Um, we have a good core of young guys. They're experienced, but they're young. Yeah. So we're here to work, get the work done, and hopefully we have some good results. Yeah, so what are some of the things uh, from uh, last season you were looking to improve this year that you're targeting? Well, 
first of all, we have to do a better job of pitching. We have to get our pitching together. And um, after that, we fill in our position players and I think we have a good core. We have a good core left from last year. Th those guys, like I say, they were young, but they are experienced. So we'll be fine. We just have to put in the work. Yeah, and so one thing that I, uh, I'm, I'm wondering and also the fans would probably be wondering as well, so with baseball, uh, do you have a lot of overlap with, uh, like, football and, like, other sports? Do you have, have a lot of overlap in your athletes? maybe five or six guys that are on the football team that um, will be key guys on the baseball team this year. I know um, the quarterback, Brady, he's going to be key yeah. for our team this year. Um, and uh, Jordan McGee plays with you. Uh, yes, with sir. The, Jordan, the baseball team as well. uh, Corey. Yep. Um, they're, 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 that thing about that football is – they're training hard over there, so when they come to us after Christmas, they'll be ready to go. And so kind of turning the attention to your career, what, um, how has your career been? Just take us through your career up until this point being the head coach here at Terry High School. Well, the last three years I was at Jim Hill High School, and um, we had a pretty good run there. Yep. The last three years we made it to the playoffs. Our second year we made it to the second round of the playoffs. I don't think they've ever done that at that school. So, Yep. All I can tell the guys is the work that we put in, we'll get the results. Absolutely. Coach, we appreciate you joining us Thank for sure. Thank you for having me. Coach James. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the South 78 Football Show. I'm right here with Coach Johnson, right here, assistant coach with Terry High School. And, uh, Coach, um, and you were a part of the staff from last year. A lot of guys are changing from last year yes, on the sir. staff. But you're still on it, and uh, you guys had a lot of success last year, finishing the season, yes, sir. Uh, making it to the second round of the playoffs, only losing to the eventual state champions and undefeated West Jones Mustangs. And just kind of talk about what things from last year you need to take to this year and then what things we're looking to improve on. Okay, absolutely. So, well, last year we had a lot of success. You know, I hadn't been to the playoffs in 17 years, and I think that's a testament of Coach Thig Penn and uh, his vision and the things that we're trying to do here at Terry High School. So pretty much we just want to keep the same, um, you know, same vision, you know, one step at a time, get 1% better at a time, and we're going to make some noise this year as well. So, For sure, and uh, just with having uh, the rest of the staff come in, how has it how has it been incorporating those other guys in, and how smoothly has it been being able to work with them? Oh, the transition has been very smooth. I think we have great camaraderie or whatnot. Uh, all coaches working together, all hands on deck. You know, people coming together and discussing things and getting things done. So we have a vision for these kids, and we want to see them fulfill that vision or whatnot. Because each one of these kids, the talented, I think these these kids really are going to make some noise this year. So it's going to be a good year. So what are some things uh, that you would say that the fans might be surprised about about this new team this upcoming year? <laughs> well, I don't want to spill too much, but I tell you what, these kids work hard, man. We just came out of camp last week, and uh, there's a bunch of, bunch of guys that got after it or whatnot and um, pretty much gave it the all. So if fans are looking for some guys that want to get after it and want to play every down, look, Terry High School is the place to be, baby. Absolutely. Coach, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. For sure. This is the South 78 football show right here from the Raising Canes in Byron, Mississippi. Just in four weeks, we will be taking, uh, taking to Raymond uh, for the Terry Bulldogs, taking on the Raymond Rangers to begin the 2024 season. All the games will be right here on the TSJW Network YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you will not miss any Terry Bulldogs football action. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Trellis Williams. We out.